all, welcome to Show Studio's video review series. I'm Show Studio fashion editor Georgie Evans, and I'm thrilled to be joined by journalist Catherine Zarella. You may recognise her from our New York reviews. Nice I'm to back. have you in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to be reviewing Noah K. Nina Mia, uh, which is really exciting. One of the most exciting designers on the schedule, arguably. As you can tell, Catherine's a large com fan. I am. And Noah comes from the, uh, the com family. Um, the brand's, I, I, feel, I always feel like the brand's relatively new, but actually it's been going for a wee while. Um, but what's so fascinating about Noir and what he does is there's relatively no stitching involved in the design. So each piece, as much as it can be, is essentially a kind of mathematical challenge of geometric pieces slotted together. So there's not necessarily going to be stitching holding these things together. So when you see these amazing sculptural pieces, it's always good to bear that in mind that these are incredible geometric, almost architectural pieces of art. Um, so. Another amazing collection I'm going to like whip through because it was just absolutely spectacular. What we were discussing before the camera turned on is that um, the wonder of Noir is that it's so moody and entrancing and almost heady with there's um, often kind of beautiful face masks or headpieces by Azuma Mikato and that was the same this season as well. Um, but this collection was so much lighter and fresher and um, that's in part for the Azuma headpieces which are green this time around. Lots of Boston ferns and Ripsilis and beautiful greenery um, kind of tumbling off the faces, some moss face masks in some cases. But also the colour palette and what's often um, commonplace within the noir is black um, but this was a lot of white and fresh almost bridal looks to start um, then we start getting a little bit more blacks and then wonderful greens as you can tell I'm a fan of green <laughs> so beautiful greens in the latter half of the collection and in satins and silks um, and it was just really breathtaking the first couple of looks were beautiful um, scalloped hems and a glitter and wonderful bedazzled opera gloves underneath the glitter veils and fantastic floral headpieces and then we start getting into the slightly more sculptural pieces which in some cases are kind of explosions of tulle in layers we've got tulle um thin organza tulle thin organza tulle and when the model would walk she would kick the the skirt and it kind of wafted and undulated yeah. a little bit incredible undulations and then we start getting these wonderful plasticky um materials which we're known for, uh, noir is known for the kind of interlocking of wonderful materials um, so it's just a sculptural feat and this whole collection was about beginnings and the idea of um, something new and, and that kind of leaks into this freshness that we were feeling, this exploration of kind of new birth and growth and you get that very much with these fresh greens which are arguably kind of um, emphatic of this wonderful growth that we're feeling but um which is I, appropriate for spring also yes. because that's what spring's all about is new beginnings yes. and growth and it just felt like a very uplifting um a kind of ethereal airy uh you know spring collection turning a corner in a sense yeah definitely but then you still have those wonderful harnesses that Noir does mm -hmm. so well which i feel like is good always good to have because it kind of commercializes the collection as well mm -hmm. because it's in always wonderful to see it as it is um, but if you break down the looks, yeah. there's so many pieces that are really wearable, like those great jackets and the mm -hmm. harnesses, of course. And I mean, one of the things that I really loved about the show, and what I love about Noir in general, is that he's so much about contrast. Yes. So you have these really feminine, kind of cloud-like, you know, gowns made of tulle or plastic, and then you have these very intense, almost BDSM harnesses, and then you have the, you know, synthetic materials and the, uh, you know, the the plant head pieces or, or face masks. You have the light and dark and the way that he plays with these contrasts is really, really beautiful. Yeah, so beautiful. And I, I love that whole duality as well. Mm -hmm. I think everyone gets entranced with just when you think you fall in love with this cascading white kind of foamy um, princess look, then mm -hmm. comes this dark harness mm -hmm. kind of sheer um, tool look. And interestingly, the last two looks um, were almost kind of like a Ravan esque mm -hmm. um, in their gridlocked. Um, well, one was like a chandelier. Color. Yes. It was like these pieces of, I don't know, they, they looked like um, almost acetate. Pyrex or something. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. It, it looked like a chandelier as she walked. And, you know, I was joking with a friend coming out of the show, like wedding dress for 2019. Yeah. Like it was, it yeah. was a really kind of beautiful, conceptual approach to, to a wedding gown yeah god I'd love that or layer that. cake or something <laughs> <laughs> but then on the other hand you've got the looks before that that are literally almost moss creatures mm -hmm. taking over the face with a hood almost like the grim reaper yeah. there was that grim reaper hood that was all done in moss yeah which again feeds into this beginning and end kind of idea mm -hmm. that with with loss comes beginnings Absolutely. <laughs> Incredibly romantic. I'm completely smitten. I'm guessing you are too. I, I absolutely am. I took my breath away. I was yelping a little bit during the show. It was a little <laughs> embarrassing. 
Um, definitely urge you to go and have a look at the Noir um, collection. It was absolutely spectacular. Catherine, so thank you so much. For thank you for having me. I feel like this was a very excited review. <laughs> we were just very excited by Noir. Um, high yeah, energy. High energy. That's good. That's good for this time in Paris Fashion Week. <laughs> um, thank you so much for coming in the car with me. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you're watching through YouTube, please do like, comment, subscribe, and make sure to visit Show Studio so you can see from spellbounding collection that um, we've just discussed, and we'll see you very soon. Bye.